full. So today I am filming two separate videos on the same day. I decided to make the air fryer tuna patties on a separate video. So here are my tuna patty recipe for the air fryer. These are the ingredients that we will need for our tuna patties. Of course, tuna in water. You drain it completely, rinse it, whatever you like to do with your tuna. Um, you can probably use packaged tuna too. I never tried it, but I'm sure there wouldn't be a problem. And I'm just using all these seasoning. You can use whatever seasoning you prefer. You can even use like lemon pepper. These are very, very versatile. Very versatile. There's so many things you can add to this. Um, I think the important part here is the tuna and of course adding a binder which will be the eggs in this case and oatmeal so we have oatmeal we have tuna we have the seasonings we have bell pepper you can do whatever combination you want we have onions we have cilantro you can also do parsley uh, thyme sage any type of those herbs two eggs two large eggs and then we're doing carrots I've done them with zucchini I've done them with Oh geez, with zucchini, yellow squash, um, I've done a mixture of everything. These are very, very versatile guys. So um, yeah, these are the ingredients and they are all going to go inside a food processor. Okay, so I have two cans of corn here that I have rinsed. Oh, I need the blade in there. Hold up. Alright, the blade is in. And what I do is, um, I think I've told you guys before, I I uh, like to make my breakfast or my dinner as soon as I'm done eating breakfast. I do all the prep for dinner. That way in the afternoon, whatever comes up, I am able to handle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up roughly, just roughly chop up some of this um, stuff. Not a lot, maybe like... I don't know a fourth cup altogether of these things maybe something like that I, I don't measure this and I've never had an ish shredded in there with the cheese grater and um, I'll just okay so I'm adding the cilantro cilantro is probably like I don't know three tablespoons or something like that of cilantro and then the bell pepper I just ended up using all of it it's about maybe a fourth cup and then onion it's like i don't know a little piece whatever fits in your hand like this i don't know guys i don't measure this particular recipe i never have and i've made it for years and years and years so okay all that goes in and then we're gonna add the two eggs and i will let this sit in the fridge guys until dinner time then at dinner time that's when i mix everything and we're gonna shred the carrots now in there with uh, my cheese grater. This thing right here. Okay, so that's how much carrot I got in there. Um, may, I could probably add more, but I'm tired of grinding this thing and I usually leave like that much because I want my fingers, you know? <laughs> I don't wanna grind my fingers up. So I'm using this one because, and these are both salt free from Aldi. I'm using this one because this has like a little kick to it um, and it, it has really really good flavor but my kids or myself do not do spicy okay and this one I go more heavy-handed oh. I'm going buddy I'm going give me a minute and a little bit of salt and that's it this goes in the fridge and tell ready to make. I actually forgot to add the oatmeal to this. And you just add about a cup of oatmeal and then you mix it up all together. I had already mixed it, but then I realized I forgot to put the oatmeal. It's gonna get a bit messy because you of course have to use your hands to, this is my air fryer thing and I'm gonna be using some of this oil to coat the bottom of it. And we're just gonna form patties and put them in here and what you want to do is you want to spray the top and the bottom of the patty what I like to do too is and on a notebook I like to write down for my particular air fryer the times and the temperatures for whatever I'm making 
so I think it's 12 minutes at 375 but let me make sure I'm trying to find it on my notebook yes it's 375 for um, 12 minutes and I think I'm gonna let them go for about 15 minutes only because I want them to be nice and crispy and the last time I just felt like they needed a little bit more time so I'm gonna let them go for 15 minutes and it gets very messy you just basically form a patty and then you spray the top and then you I mean the bottom and then the top and then you just kind of leave them in there don't move them too much mine probably could have used a little more flour they do feel a little bit wet but they'll dry up that's the cool thing about doing these in the air fryer they'll dry up as they cook so I'm gonna be putting four in here like I said 380 I mean 375 for about 15 minutes I'm gonna check them every five minutes just to make sure but um, well now I need my hands to turn off the phone and then some of them I make them a little bit smaller for my children my uh, my daughter likes them but my son is not too fan of it so I usually make a small one for him and yes this gets this gets all disgusting but nothing that water can't clean up and sanitizer and all that fun stuff so I'm just gonna keep doing these so times may change um, depending on your air fryer but we're gonna air fry temperature 375 or we're gonna do 15 minutes and we're gonna check it every five so that is what they look like Ooh, they are so yummy maybe I left them in there a little too long but they'll still be good so yummy so yeah that's how you make them so this is how I'm going to eat this bon appetit